Thanks, Jimmy. Okay, so um, because Jimmy said I have uh, about 20 minutes uh, and I have 30 slides, so I will use uh, English to speed things up. Uh, but feel free to ask questions in Chinese. Okay. Um, so uh, today, uh, the talk is from a practitioner to a fellow one. So uh, the talk is all about data driven and, uh, uh, and also the, how you can uh, practice uh, your hacking of the Android as well. Uh, let me start by saying that, uh, okay, initially uh, we're thinking of doing systematic and the data driven studies in optimizing uh, size and performance uh, for. Uh, the Android community here. Okay, so uh, the outline is uh, talking about seven optimization strategies. Uh, the first one is uh, is data driven tool deployments. Uh, uh, basically, we try to evaluate uh, and leverage six uh, six tool chains and uh, and always try to um, pick the blue ones. Uh, leverage the community because all the code is open source anyway, and then we try to constantly uh, bring down the bring in the pitches and also upload the pitches to upstream. Okay, the second one is uh, about the thoughtful abstraction and uh, specification. Uh, so I think there's no substitute for the judicious uh, design for um, abstraction and specification. Uh, it can give us a lot of savings and a lot of performance benefits. Uh, so uh, we can like, take a look at the feasibility of a uh, function. Uh, so basically when you design your library or your package, uh, you think through uh, the, the, the I mean, parts you want to expose, which should be uh, public and uh, which should be hidden. And then uh, I'll go through uh, how we can improve uh, the size uh, based on feasibility later. So uh, basically, we uh, we can also uh, make trade-offs in splitting things into Java versus uh, native. Uh, if you want uh, like your application, uh, sorry, if you want the C C++ performance, uh, then you can like try to uh, make things uh, turn things into native code and then use JNI uh, to invoke those native parts. Uh, so there are also trade-offs there. Uh, and also uh, there's uh, open call uh, and also open max. Um, uh, I think this part is not um, the open call community is not uh, based on open max yet. Uh, but uh, I heard a few uh, companies here in Taiwan that are interested in uh, providing open max compatible chips so they can uh, like provide differentiating values uh, by swapping with their newer IPs. Uh, okay, the third one is um, uh, systematic parameter setting. Thanks, uh, Jimmy. So systematic parameter setting. Uh, this is a key driver uh, in performance and the size. And I'll go, go into more details on this uh, strategy here. And the fourth one is uh, profile guided optimization. It's a very useful methodology. Uh, for example, you can invoke FDO. Um, without tool chain, or uh, another place where you can apply profile driven optimization is by uh, playing with the class loading profiler. Uh, so you can decide uh, when Zygotes is doing the preloading, how many classes you want to uh, load them. Uh, do, load them first. So right now, I think for for example for Cupcake, there are more than 1,100. Uh, classes that are preloaded. So this will help the uh, app application in each time later on, but then the boot up time may get penalized a little bit. So, it, so with the correct uh, profiling information, uh, we can make a better trade-off uh, between the uh, boot up time and the, the in each time per application. Uh, the fifth optimization strategy is to uh, enlarge the scope. Uh, like always doing the gro uh, more global optimization is, uh, is I mean, allowing us to reap more benefits. So, so I will also uh, mention the, uh, the, the basically the interprocedural optimization. I made a mistake in 
writing this size uh, for example uh, the newer flag is uh, here okay so uh, okay let's go back to the size uh, basically you can read the, uh, the, the slides in more details later but we'll just go through the strategies uh, first and the sixth one is the uh, redundancy elimination uh, so in the, I mean, this one is the upcoming. So uh, right now, uh, it's only supported in uh, Google's uh, Gold Linker, uh, G-O-L-D Linker. But the Android uh, is not using Gold Linker yet. Uh, it's coming soon. So uh, we, with that Linker, then we can uh, like get rid of even more redundancies. And finally, I'll conclude with the memory management optimizations in Delvic. Uh, in the interest of time, uh, like we'll just cover the first item in each of these seven uh, strategies. Okay, so, so basically, uh, we won't have time to uh, go through some of them. Okay, so first, um, data-driven tool development. Uh, so, um, first, we analyze several tool chains. Uh, the, the current one uh, is uh, GCC 4.2.1, and then the, and there's a non-default tool chain that's accessible by uh, public already. Uh, that's the GCC 4.3.1. Uh, but uh, feel free to actually jump to 4.4.1. That's uh, uh, that's the tool chain for uh, the, for Eclair. So it's not uh, sorry. Th this Eclair is not uh, done yet, but at least you can already play with the tool chain. Uh, this uh, the the ARM API GCC all those uh, tool chain binaries uh, in this uh, um, uh, yeah, in those uh, binaries uh, for GCC 4.4. That's there already. Okay, and also uh, there's uh, code sorcery releases. Uh, so in Q1 this year, they have this GCC 4.3.3, and uh, and then uh, I know in Q3 they will have another release. Uh, I know they don't like uh, uh, 0.0 release, so so I, I I'm thinking they will use uh, 4.4.1. So uh, but given these six. Uh, uh, Tool chains, then we can make size and the speed up evaluations. And, the, and the, on this graph, basically we daily track uh, 13 members. Uh, in the, but here we have space to show about four here. Uh, but basically, the key thing is uh, uh, you can see GCC 4.4.1 and the GCC 4.4.0 uh, got much greater uh, size. Uh, so the higher means uh, the better size improvements. It is. So uh, the baseline is GCC 4.2.1. This one here. Uh, so so you can see that uh, on average, uh, GCC 4.4 give about 17% improvement uh, over GCC 4.2.1. And then the uh, code sorcery release GCC 4.3.3 versus uh, the vanilla GCC 4.3.3. It's not much, so there's uh, not much improvement from cost sorcery on um, this uh, tool chain. And uh, for GC 4.3.1, there's about 4% improvement over the baseline. So uh, basically, the idea is uh, 431 give uh, 4 per, 3 to 4 percent improvement, but 4.4 uh, uh, gives about 17 percent, and 4.3.3 gives about uh, 15 percent improvement. Uh, and all this improvement comes from uh, comes with little penalty on performance. So here you can see uh, that's on average all, all six tool chains give about uh, the same performance uh, on Dreamform. This is run 100 times, and, uh, and uh, we made sure the standard deviation is not much. Usually it's like maybe uh, like 1% of the overall time or 2% of overall time. So these numbers are uh, believable. 